I'm Dr. Ruscio. I'm here with uh, Patricia. Patricia Johnson. And she had some really good results in a short period of time. So I wanted to, uh, well, I asked you if you'd be willing to share this, especially for people who have a hard time making the dietary shift, because I think yeah. that was really key for you. Yeah. So um, why don't you tell people a little bit about what you came in with, what you experienced, and then what we did, and what you noticed. Okay. So I had gone to my primary physician for uh, have a thyroid nodule mm -hmm. and it's not anything you see on the outside but it was causing some swelling and I felt like I couldn't breathe sure. at night and so when I went to the doctor he said that it wasn't really enlarged at any additional than it had been and there wasn't really anything I could do if I wanted to have an operation that may or may not alleviate it but I would probably have to go on medication and not the best so, uh, no <laughs> yeah. So I left the, um, I also had an ear, nose, and throat doctor look down my throat because mm -hmm. maybe it was something there. Right. And they didn't find anything. But I still had these feelings. So um, I had heard about you because I listened to Jimmy Moore. Okay. And on um, Living Libido Low Carb. So when I thought about going to another doctor, I thought, well, I'll go to Dr. Lucio because you study thyroid. Sure. So when I came here and your suggestion was for me to go on this autoimmune diet, I was a little, a little skeptical because I thought that I had been eating pretty well. I know sure. I needed to lose weight, but um, I had been eating some things I shouldn't eat, but they were all what I considered to be healthy things. Right. So I studied the diet for a week because it took a while to kind of take it all in, like, sure. oh, what am I going to eat? And so then I prepared myself, got my kitchen all prepared, and I started following the diet. Within three days, the swelling was gone, amazingly. And I kept waiting for it to come back, and it didn't come back, and now it's been about three weeks, and it's amazing. Awesome. Absolutely amazing, I can't believe that the swelling is completely gone, my energy level is greatly improved. Um, and you've lost maybe eight and pounds. I probably have lost about eight, yeah. maybe ten pounds. We're about to do do the weighing, but from her home yes. scale, she thinks about eight pounds. Yes. Yeah. And it's only been, you know, so I plan to follow this. I don't know. Forever. <laughs> a while. <yeah. laughs> it just feels great. Yeah. I mean, it's not that hard once you start. Yeah. And I've gotten used to not having any yogurt and the nuts. I was just, I love nuts, but if nuts are what's causing my swelling, I won't have nuts. Sure. And eventually what we're going to do with Patricia is we're going to start to reintroduce some of these foods um, so that she doesn't have to be off all these foods indefinitely and we'll see if we can pin down one or two oh foods that may be causing uh, th this, th this issue. And what we found with, with Patricia was we did find Hashimoto's and what I think was happening was um, coming to our thyroid model here in a, um, in a healthy thyroid gland it's, it's smaller, but when a thyroid gland becomes enlarged, as you see here, um, or when a thyroid gland has Hashimoto's, it can become enlarged, and that can cause some occlusions and some pressure on the throat. Um, this is why when a goiter gets bad enough, they may have to do surgical removal of the thyroid gland because it can, it can encroach on uh, swallowing and breathing and things like that. So what's probably happening underneath the surface is that the thyroid autoimmunity that's causing thyroid inflammation and swelling has been quelled by changing the diet, mm -hmm. and now that yes. feeling is gone. Yeah, that's pretty, it's miraculous. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing, I can't believe <laughs> that. Because so I feel it, I mean, if you touch it, I don't feel anything. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. That feel, yeah, you feel much better. You could bottle that and sell it. <laughs> it's really well, the amazing. problem is you can't bottle it yes. and sell it, and that's yeah, why that's I think right. it hasn't gotten more right. popular yes. than it is. Um, but she's done great. Um, 30 days autoimmune paleo diet. We also put you on some basic vitamin support, mm -hmm. a low dose um, hormone replacement therapy, mm -hmm. and and that was pretty much it. And I'm convinced that the the largest contributing factor is definitely been the diet. Yes. Um, and I wanted to share that for for people out there who may think mm -hmm. that they need a more serious intervention yes. to get benefit. And, that, and they may, but sometimes the the simple things really work the best. Well, and I thought that I could come here and get started on something that would prevent my thyroid from getting any worse because um, according to the doctor it's not anything I can do it's the wait and see what happens but it was sure. getting a little worse you know. and so now I can breathe great I don't have any problems at night um, right. and now I'm working on my sleeping working on my exercise and I'm sure the weight's gonna go down um, continue to go down no cravings yeah. um, it's pretty 
It's pretty good. And we didn't have to do a lot of expensive lab testing. We did one blood panel to look at her thyroid yes. uh, function, but we did not have to do uh, extensive food allergy testing mm -hmm. or, or other workups. We may do some additional testing in the future, mm -hmm. but um, our, our agreement now is we'll follow up in 30 days. If she's still feeling this great, yes. we're, we're pretty much done. Yes. Cool. Well, thank you so much for, for, for oh, talking with thank, us. Thank you very much.